Welcome to the CTB News Channel, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the hottest news of the day. Our newsletter today includes the following, Tottenham 0-2 Aston Villa, angry after the second half goals scored by Emi Buendia and Douglas Luiz give Unai Emery's team a victory that they rightfully deserve, Spurs supporters boo the players off the field and turn their ire on Daniel Levy. Hugo Lloris was subjected to additional abuse at the hands of Argentinians as Antonio Conti began the New Year in the midst of the same old problems and an atmosphere of dissent that was building up in the stands. A speculative attempt from distance by Douglas Luiz was spilled by Loris, who was then beaten to the rebound by Ali Watkins, who set up Emi Buendia to score. Loris was at fault for Spurs ceding the initiative to Aston Villa, and Spurs' loss of it was due to his error, the group coached by Conti had surrendered the opening goal for the tenth game in a row, and they lacked the resources necessary to mount a comeback in this match. Brian Gill had the opportunity to start up front for the first time in quite some time. And Christian Romero made his first appearance since the World Cup final exactly two weeks later. Romero returned with his usual flair, getting himself cautioned for a reckless tackle from behind within the first half an hour of play, by the end of the first half, all three central defenders for Tottenham had been shown yellow cards, Emery, who was back in North London where he learned how to frustrate Spurs during his 18 months as Arsenal manager, named Robin Olsen as the starting goalkeeper for the match. Aston Villa's World Cup champion Emmy Martinez was among the substitutes for the match, although Emery's performance at the Emirates Stadium was insignificant overall, he was victorious in one of the North London derbies he played in and tied the other two. However, Villa are more stronger now that he is in charge, and Tottenham found it tough to get through their ranks, the closest they came to scoring in the first half was a header by Harry Kane that Ashley Young blocked from crossing the line. Clement Lenglet recognized Ivan Perisic, who was advancing from his position on the left side of the field, Olsen was able to regain possession of the ball, but Perisic was able to steal it away from him. However, Perisic's touch sent him outside, and he subsequently turned and clipped a cross towards the back post, where Kane climbed to win the header. It hit the target and bounced just inside the post while the goalkeeper was out of position, but Young was able to clear the danger. Although they had a lot of possession of the ball, Tottenham's offense was not very productive. After losing the ball to Leon Bailey, Sun Hyung Min vented his anger by hurling his protective mask to the ground in a fit of pique. Since the accident in Marseille on November 1st, where he fractured his cheekbone in four places and near his eye socket, the sun has worn it. However, things got much worse when Villa punished Loris for the mistake he made and Buendia celebrated his first goal since August. The home audience booed as their team approached the halftime break with the game still scoreless, the second goal was scored by Luiz, capping off an excellent play that was begun by Bubakar Kamara, who was brilliant in the middle of the field. Kamara won the ball from Kane. Luiz participated in a pass exchange with John McGinn and then defeated Loris as the latter was collecting the return pass, McGinn went down with a hamstring injury for Villa, and Luiz was also hurt as he was threatening to score a third goal which required Loris to make a save. These things may trouble Emery, but I think Conti has more to worry about at the moment, Spurs have only won two of their previous seven games in the Premier League, and their performance is growing worse as Arsenal continues to pull away at the top of the table, share or comment on this story. Thank for watching.